Some people find they fill the void of life. They find religion. They say God has given them meaning. But for us, the meaning is the people, the people and the party. And we pivot back to another topic. We've gone to many places today and there's the stench of disgusting criminal marijuana. A substance that is inherently, the substance in our opinion is inherently disordered, inherently criminal, and it leads to the decay and the collapse of the whole society. There's been different incidents. We've talked about this for the last two years, almost three years. There was an incident where someone from of Canadian National, he was got, got into some drug problems in, in Canada. Then they went to China and they were, they were, they were found with drugs, drugs. And based on the, the national law, they were sentenced on appeal. They were sentenced to death. We don't stand with the values of the West where America and the most salient point is the drug law. We stand with countries that criminalize marijuana and have a strictest drug enforcement, including Singapore. Now, Singapore is not an authoritarian or a communist state by any means, but their drug system is the, is the right one and their criminal justice system is the right one. And people say, well, what's happening with fentanyl? What's happening with, you know, all the other deadly, deadly fentanyl ep epidemic that, that's killing so many Americans? Who do you point the finger at? Do you want to point the finger at China or Mexico? The problem is, it's very clear. You look at Singapore, United States. It's the difference of the system. It begins with the system. And marijuana is inherently criminal and inherently bad. And, and, and we smelt that. We stench of a pot of marijuana, of reefer. We smelt that today. Going to different places, we have to smell that. It's criminal. 